Hi guys, my name is Shad. In this tutorial, we're going to build the business model and mapping layer. We'll create business model, examine logical joints, logical columns, and logical table sources. Then we'll also rename logical objects manually, rename logical objects using the rename wizard, delete unnecessary logical objects, and create simple measures. So uh, to begin, let's go to the OBI administration tool. Remember in previous tutorial, we did create the physical layer right here. Now go ahead and right click in the space on the business model mapping layer. Click on new business model, then name this business model sample cells. When done, leave disabled checked and then press OK. Sample cells is now added to the business model and mapping layer. Next thing is to drag the earliest tables from the physical layer to the sample cells business model inside the BMM layer. From the aliases we created in the previous tutorial, we're going to drag all except the default address. So control click on D1 time, then D2 product, then D3 customer, and F1 revenue. Once done, click and drag the earliest tables to the sample sales business model. The tables now appear in the BMM layer. Notice all the other tables have the same icon except F1 revenue, which is a pound sign, uh, meaning it's a fake table. Now let's go ahead and examine logical joins. Right click on the sample cells, select business model, then click on whole diagram. Notice we already have logical joins on the diagram. This is because we created the joins in the physical layer. So they are automatically adopted into the BMM layer. Uh, just double click one of the logical joins here as you can see there is no join expression logical joins express the cardinality relationships of the logical tables uh, notice also you won't be able to select any columns right here just go ahead and press cancel to close this out uh, go ahead and double click another logical join just to confirm it's also the same uh, then click cancel to close this then close the business model diagram now let's examine the logical columns expand d1 time logical table logical columns were adopted from the earliest tables uh, in the physical layer if you expand d1 time earliest table you'll notice the columns matches the d1 time logical columns you see uh, let's minimize the earliest table and we'll now examine logical table sources expand the sources folder on the d1 time logical table the logical table source is named d1 time and it maps to the d1 time earliest table in the physical layer double click the logical table source then rename the logical table source to LTS1 time. Notice the mapping to the physical table is shown right here. Click on column mapping. This shows the logical to physical column mappings. As you can see, uh, back to the general tab, just confirm the name we just changed. And then click OK to close the logical table source dialog box. And now let's rename logical objects manually. Expand D1 time logical table. Then click twice on uh, beginning of month to make sure it's editable. You can also right click then click on rename right here. I type the name as shown on the screen. There we go. 
when done next the next thing we're going to do is uh, rename using the rename wizard click on tools up here and then click utilities select rename wizard uh, from the list of utilities down here and then click on the execute button in the select object screen go ahead and click on business model and mapping the sample cells business model will then appear expand the sample cells then also expand the one-time logical table except for the logical column we renamed earlier select all these other logical columns click the add button to add the columns to the right panel minimize the d1 time logical table then expand d2 product logical table select all the logical columns in d2 product click the add button to add them also to the right panel do the same for logical columns in uh, d3 customer expand uh, the f1 revenue effect table then select all logical columns in f1 revenue click add button go ahead and click next right here notice because our selection was only logical columns it's indicated up here click next to go to the select rule screen select all text lowercase then click on the add button add also change each occurrence of underscore into a space also add the rule uh, first letter of each word capital go ahead and click next you will be shown how the new names would look like before you can finalize the changes click finish to accept the changes confirm the changes in the BMM layer I will minimize the first logical table then check also changes in the D2 product do the same for D3 customer and F1 revenue once done I will minimize all the logical tables here check the physical columns in the physical layer you will notice that the column names have not been renamed renaming of the logical objects will not affect the physical objects uh, names just because relationship is based on mappings now we are going to delete unnecessary logical objects in the BMM layer expand F1 revenue select all logical columns except for revenue and units you can right click and then click on delete over here or you can also click on edit on here then click on delete click yes to confirm that you want to delete the object next thing we're going to do is to create simple measures double click on the revenue logical column in the dialog box click on the aggregation tab Click on this drop down and then change the aggregation rule to SUM, SUM. Click OK to close the dialog box. The icon for revenue column changed due to the aggregation rule. Double click units, logical column. Select aggregation and change the default to SUM. Click OK. The icon for units also changed now minimize the f1 revenue logical table click on file then save the repository do not mind checking the global consistency for now so I'll click no that is it guys we have successfully created the business model and mapping layer of our repository uh, stay tuned uh, as next tutorial we're going to build the presentation layer uh, we'll be creating the su subject area, the presentation tables, and its presentation columns. We'll also rename the presentation columns, show you how to reorder the presentation columns. And uh, until then, guys, good luck.